Hmm. How do you get faith for salvation? How do you get faith for healing? You know, how many times did Jesus say, be it done unto you according to? According to? Is that possession again? See, there's, there is something that you possess. And it's faith. Alright? So how do you get faith for salvation? How do you get faith for healing? How do you get faith for finances? How do you get faith for deliverance? How do you get faith for uh, receiving the Spirit? How do you get faith for whatever God desires in our life? How do, how do you get faith for that? Hmm. Because our faith overcomes the world. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. We are saved by grace through faith. So how do we get it? The same faith that sa saves you is the same kind of faith that heals you, which is the same faith that delivers you. So how do we get it? How do we get faith? Ah, uh, Romans ten seventeen. Romans 10, I don't hear pages. Let's see, hang on. Pages. Romans 10, 17. Romans 10, 17. See, I don't really look it in here because I, I took it out of there and I put it in the notes. And, and I don't really have to look at the notes because I know what it says. It says, so then faith comes by and hearing by See that word hearing there. So then faith comes. It doesn't say so then faith comes by having heard. You ever hear people they say yeah I heard that. People, people they think that they well I, you know I've been to church and, and I've heard this and I've heard this and, and I've heard that. But faith doesn't come by having heard. Faith comes by hearing. And that word there means continuously. I mean, it's a faith comes by hearing and 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 hearing by the Word of God. That's what that, that word there means. It's a, it's a continuous hearing. You're, you're constantly hearing. That's why Jesus said that um, man doesn't live by bread alone, but by Every word that proceeds out. So how do you live? We, we live by hearing what God says. That's how we overcome. So we get faith for salvation by hearing the Word of God. We get faith for healing by hearing the Word of God. We get faith for finances and, and we get faith for deliverance. We get faith for whatever it is that God desires in our life. We get that by hearing what He said. Now, when you hear what He says, you have to know that it's what He said. See, if you hear, if you hear me say something, you go, know, well, Bishop said this. Well, that's really not going to heal you unless, you unless you equate some of the things that I'm saying as that's God that said it. When you, when you understand what, what God is saying, now you've got a foundation. You've got something to stand on. When, when he says that by his stripes you were healed, and you really know that that's what God said, because you go through a, a time, when you hear that the first time, you go, okay, that's pretty good. Now, how many have read a book? I mean, just any book, you know, Tom Sawyer or whatever. Anybody read a book? Okay? So you read those books, and, and you've read fiction, right? So then you've read it in a book, and what's this look like? A book. So you read words out of this book and you've got to go, hmm, well, it's a book. I don't know. You know, I read Tom Sawyer. I don't believe everything that it said. And so you look at this and you think, well, I don't know that I can believe everything that says. It's just a book. Until in your heart and in your mind, you have your mind renewed to the Word. I mean, and you understand that this is not just a book. This is a library. This is Holy Biblia. Biblia. Library. It's a collection of books. It's a collection of books 
over several thousand years by, I forget how many authors, and it doesn't contradict itself over all those years. It's prophesied. I mean, the things that, that, that are in here have come to pass. They, uh, scientists have coordinated um, space exploration because of some of the things and the, some of the truths that are found in the Word. Um, they have had theories and they've had ideas and they find out that their theories and ideas are wrong and they come in here and they find out that the Bible said it all along. There's people that thought the world was flat. The Bible has said since the foundation that the, the world is a circumference. I mean, it's, it's round. It says it in, I think it's in Psalms. And um, so, I mean, there's just truth in there. And when you get to the point where you believe what it says, it changes your life. You just, your, your whole life changes. Um, so faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. And we get faith. From God. And faith comes. Faith always comes. By hearing what God says. What happens to some. Is they don't receive his word. And plant it into their heart. Faith comes. When God speaks. Faith comes. So now faith is at your door. Are you going to grab hold of it? Are you going to grab hold of what he said? And walk in that faith, walk in that word, or are you going to reject it? Hmm. 